Welcome to Raw Holla. Oh wait, no, are we seeing somebody yeah, else? I, no, that is, we're, uh, that is I think Wood we're going kid. to lose this side topic. Whoa, okay, I was wrong. That is Woodkid versus Dog. Now, Woodkid has been making some major upsets throughout this past tournament and is being coached by some of the best players in Brawl Hall, but he's going to be facing Dog right here, right now in Losers Top 8 of Moose Wars. Yeah, Woodkid um, apparently coming, ooh, switching from console, fighting Dog, known as the former, or I think it's still current teammate of Pierre. He had a really big come up in a 2v2 major Brawlhalla tournament. And so we're going to be seeing the likes of Dog probably on a Taros and also Woodkid on a Cannon. I have not seen Woodkid. I know little about them, but I'm super excited to see their Cannon gameplay because it looks like they're a Cannon player. And we know a lot of those um, players that come from console and switch to PC. It's rumored that it's a lot better than console. You know, it goes faster. You can get those higher hertz monitors. And so yep. Woodkid's doing that and he's popping off now. So let's see what he has to do. Did it, do. Did, didn't the dude just beat Boomy? Like, yeah. word on the That's street, word on, like, word on the street, blue, like, like, yo, boomy. dude said, I don't care who you are, bro, I'm here to play, I'm here to win. Yeah, it's All crazy right. to kind of see this cannon play not go to um, Demon Island, because, you know, cannon is a very momentum-based weapon, like, it can carry you from Boy. side to side, so going on one of these smaller Whoa. maps, we're gonna definitely see some momentum across, you know, carries. We're starting off this game. Dog is the first weapon. Yeah, man, dog already rocking with the gauntlets. But as we say that, that is going to be Woodkid rocking the cannon that he is known for. But oh my God, dog putting the hands on your boy Woodkid, trying to find. Oh wait, that's that's uh that's actually the great sword. My fault. Those are the gauntlets. So we got dog on Akuma, the crossover for Val on sword and gauntlets, and Woodkid on that Sidra with cannon and sword. Now, I'm super excited to see how Woodkid is kind of going to handle this matchup with the sword because often people say that sword is a pretty good matchup in the cannon. You know, it has that in light, that get off me tool. And when uh, cannon is best, when you're running at your opponent, always applying pressure. And sword has a lot of those good tools to kind of just get off me. And so dog's using those tools and solidifying finding himself a little bit of a lead in front of Woodkid. I mean, it is a lead, but it's not the biggest one. They're both kind of in the red right now. Obviously, Woodkid taking more damage in this scenario. He is going to have the cannon, which he is known for. Going to throw away that weapon. What's the getaway for get rid of the gauntlets? Now has the sword in hand. Now is Dog Summon to Strike. Like you were saying, going to go for the recovery. Not going to get the kill, though. Throws a weapon. going to oh, weapon hog him. I kind of like that. You know, just take every weapon you can get. Going for the up air. Not going to get the kill, though. What's the next play coming on? It seems like Woodkid is going to be on his last slice for his first stock. Unless he can make something happen or find a kill right now. He does get the sword. So, sword versus gauntlet. You know, Woodkid's going to wake up with that GC D-Light down air. And now it's just pressure. Woodkid getting that stage control. Going to hit him with a little bit of the side air. And Woodkid takes that first stock. Yeah, I mean, he was doing a really good job. He brought that back, actually. And as Ooh. I say that, going to take a sure you can to the face. That's one thing Akuma is known for. So let's see if it is possible for, you know, Woodkid to potentially move. I want to see Woodkid move on. He's wearing such a nice story for this Moose Wars event right now. So I want to see if we could potentially see another upset. But Dog going to say, all right, your road ends here, my boy. This is, unfortunately, loser's bracket. So loser of this will be taken out of the bracket. Yeah, it's super high stakes because when, you, when you're in that winner's bracket, you kind of have like a second life, right? You don't go, yeah. oh, I'm going to lose this. I'm out of the tournament. Like, you know, I got a little bit of leeway. You know, I, I I'll just try better days. next time. Yeah. Exactly. I'll just try better, bro. That's all right. But, but now we're like, in all the right. elimination bracket. Yeah, you got you got to play for your life. Like, we're, we're fighting out here. We're duking it out. You, we're win. <laughs> you either win or you are gone, bro. Yep. See you later. See you next time. You're talking about this matchup, like you said, the sword versus. Oh, yes. Okay, all right. Let's start dancing, bro. Playing the footsie Ooh. game. Fighting back on the stage with that weapon throw. Dog really favoring that sword. And the, I always like to talk about stage control, man. The person who has stage control is always going to be able to get those advantages, maybe push your opponent off stage. And with that recent change to like wall hugging in the most recent patch, stage control is even more important. And we see Woodkid using that right now with that cannon, throwing those throwing those cannonballs out, using that ground pound. But Dog's going to take that back, pushing him off the stage. Ooh, that side is going to send him back. And then Nair's going to send oh. him all the way to the top. Not going to kill yet. Ooh, that's oh one thing God, about he's... Sidra. Yeah, Sidra is doing a really good job of just keeping the range up, Ooh. keeping the pressure on him, going back on center stage, though. 
it seems like Woodkid has a small lead. Let's see if he can not over extend and get the kill he needs. And as I say that, he is going to get the second stock coming on off the dog. Dog saying, bro, what is this kid at, a, at right about now? But are going to be a sword right now. And a weapon hog. Yes, sir. Going to get that cannon yet again. Yeah, we saw Woodkid do that little confirm, kill confirm, D-Light Nair just to send Dog off the top. And one thing about Sidra is that they're going to use that Cannonball Sig. You know, it's so good. It's uh, You can recover from it pretty fast. And that's if you're playing Sidra and you're not abusing that Cannonball in Sig, what are you doing? doing but Dog's going to hit him with a Haymaker and send him off. But in the, it looks like, light orange, he's going to have to fight a little bit harder if he wants to win this first game. Yeah, he's going to have to scrap, get some good DI reads. But now we're coming on from the Sword. The sword obviously has a uh, you know bigger range than the gauntlets as of right now, but here comes the cannon. I, I love how that's a weapon you want to opt for. We might see dog the moment we see uh, a, a weapon come down. He might switch to the sword, right? Because the sword is able to really just like get into the face of the cannon. You, you know you want to close that gap as fast as possible. I'm gonna throw it, yes. As I was talking to him, just like that, but but that beats the detriment. No, he does end up getting it just in time. He does have red health right now, but he can definitely do this around if he plays his cards right. Yeah, we've seen Dog definitely favor that sword because of how good of a matchup it is in the, into Cannon. But Gauntlet is also that super explosive weapon, but it seems like Dog maybe isn't as comfortable on the Gauntlet as he is the sword. So he's definitely using that stage, stage control right here, pushing Woodcut aside. Man, they're really at each other's necks right now, and it's slowing down a little bit. Players don't want to get punished. It's so crucial not to get punished, especially when you're in this kill range. Yeah, you don't really want to overextend. You were talking about stage control. Just being off stage, especially being at a high percent. Oh my God, Woosh. that was close. Yeah, he bro, bro, bro does a bullet, bro. This dude's in <laughs> the matrix. Gonna get the recovery. Lost the weapon. This could be dog chance to make this comeback happen. But you're seeing your boy Woodkid scrap for his Ooh. life. Sure, you can. Not gonna get the kill though. That uppercut almost sent Dog off the top. Now they're just fighting for that recovery, and that recovery is gonna take Dog up and out of the game. That's game one to Woodkid. The unknown cannon player. Man, Woodkid apparently has not had a single top 8 or top 12 in a move sports. And look at him now. Going crazy. Yeah, bro. Now I'm hot and they all on me, bro. Look at your boy Woodkid, bro. Feeling <laughs> good. Taking the first game of the set right now. But let's not sleep on dog. If you know the story of move sports as of yet, it's always like a, a reverse 3-0 scenario. But let's see if Woodkid can keep up momentum and potentially uh take even more games off a of dog but dog gonna get first pick with the gauntlets but as i say that the cannons are in hand it is a battle of taste control like we we're saying ladies and gentlemen goals for those side lights not gonna get much started though yeah oh, as definitely. i say that there it is Ooh, ooh, a little bit of a dodge read okay yeah, he's dog put, oh my god he's putting hands on him yeah, yeah he's putting him. hands on you man bro come here okay now we got the sword Definitely the match. Ooh, oh my god, get ooh, down there! Size, get down size. there, what you doing? Oh, he went for the Real slide, but not gonna get it. And yeah, we're seeing dog saying, I don't care. No more, no more weapons. No more shing, shing, shing. I wanna grab you. I wanna throw you around. That's definitely what he's doing. Exactly. The sword is old school, bro. We throw hands, bro. I don't throw yes, no blades. Sir. We throw hands right now. But you know, a sword, a little bit of a sword fight going on between these two. Ooh, the recovery, not gonna get the kill he's looking for. Got the down here. Get off me, son. Cover as well. Still not going to get it, even though Woodkid is on his red life. As of right now, Kraken. Oh, oh my God, the weapon throw. Now we're back to the cannon. Look at the amount of stage pressure that your boy Woodkid's putting on. And with that, he does get the kill. Amazing stuff. It was looking really bad for your boy, but he did this during the last game too. Seemed to be taking a beating, but he does end up taking the first stock in the game. Yeah, Woodkid, once again, we see that D-Light Nair to confirm that kill up and out. Onto his second stock. Dog is now second stock clean. And we're going to see him fight for that KO. Side air is going to take Woodkid all the way down to the corner and out. Dog's going to try and weapon starve this right here. We'll see if he opts for the gauntlets. He's on those gauntlets. Going back. Super explosive weapon. One dodge read can put so much damage on you. So we're seeing what Dog's going to try and do here. But Woodkid's going to fight for that cannon. Ooh, going to get some moves in. Dog's going to stop oh. that. Grab him up. Oh, oh, grab again. Hands on him. Oh, oh that okay. just barely missed. No, he really wanted to get that sick. Potentially, it definitely wouldn't have gone to stop, but would have put him in a really good scenario, Kraken. Oh, okay. Now, this is a matchup we're all familiar with. I love how slow the game turns. The moment they get a, he gets a sword, bro. It turns into mm -hmm. like one of those, like, 
martial arts movies, bro, where they're just like setting each other down. Look at this, see who's gonna make the first move. I love it. You can't over it. Look at that! Look at that! Yep, just like those gauntlets, the cannon is a super explosive weapon. So if you really want to win these neutral engagements and not just get completely obliterated, you kind of have to slow down that game a little bit. That ground pound's going to send them all the way to the right side of the screen, fighting back, dodging the cannonballs. How many cannonballs can you dodge? There's a mini game going on. <laughs> Quick time event, bro. Got to make sure you dodge all of them, bro. Oh, good stuff. Got to get the gravity cancel into the recovery. Your boy Woodkid right now looking clean with the Sidra, bro. But let's see if Dog can make this comeback happen with the Akuma. We almost saw him go for him. What was he cooking? We saw him cooking something, bro, but not going to get the air dodge rate he was looking for. It's the grab. Not going to get much off of it, though. Whew. Man, Woodkid got the uh -uh. moves. Yeah, bro, his movement stage. is really nice. But let's see if this recovery is even more nice. Actually, I respect it. Oh, that was such a good read off Clean. the sig. Clean in sig read to catch that jump from Woodkid is going to... Not exactly tied up, gonna put them both at one stock, and Dog is just just a tiny bit more damage than Woodkid, but we'll we'll yes, see what he does to uh Okay now we're now we're even lead. <laughs> now we're back even ooh ooh. Commander's curse. Ooh. Oh my god. Sword okay, fight again. On, dog, 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 ooh, and there, okay, there you go. This is sig. We're we're even. I'm trying to give Dog his points, but every time I say something nice about him, Woodkid's on his ass. But as I say that right <laughs> now, we're seeing Dog kinda of pick up the momentum as of late. Grab cancel. Ooh. Good stuff with the side air. Oh, weapon throw. Oh, he does a weapon throw. He said, get that shit. Get that out of here, bro. Oh, now we're here with the sword. Starving Ooh, a bit. Another sword. This is really good for dog, bro. He has his win condition. As I say that, uh-oh. Explosive time. <sighs> Let him know. We call him Nick. What will he be shooting with them cannons, bro? Good stuff with the up there. Okay. Keeping good stage control right now. Doesn't want to give up anything just quite yet. The stage is really small, so... The a dodge. tiniest amount of ledge pressure can put you in a really bad spot. Oh, oh it's done. Yo, he just dodged, barely dodged up out of that. Woodkid got the stage control, got that cannon in hand. We know he loves the cannon. Oh. D-Light. D-Light Nair going to take him out. Win. And that's Woodkid up two in the set. Now, Arbiter, we've seen these reverse 3-0s. We've seen these reverse sweeps. It's we've time. seen a care. We've it's seen time. someone be like, "Oh yeah, I'm ro I'm rocking this. I'm rocking this." Sidra did. Oh wait, 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 whoa, wait, wait. Whoa, dog, whoa, whoa, dog, whoa. dog, dog. Level Literally. 17. I was gonna ask. Hold you, on. If you're a dog, what you kid do? hopping off? What? This dude with Isaiah, bro. He said, "I ain't playing no dittos, bro. I ain't playing no dittos. You got me messed up. I ain't him. I ain't Hon him. We're gonna have Isaac. I, I mess respect. with that." I messed with that mentality 100% cracking, y'all. This set already already looking really exciting. Let's see if this is the change that your boy dog needs. So, as we're saying, right, the story is, you know, it's always reverse to what we're going to be on a different stage. Miami Dome, those platforms are going to be able to help out in the long run. But let's see if Woodkid has what it takes to send dog home and move on into this Moose Wars bracket. Yeah, dog locking in that sunset Sidra, you know, sunset. That's, that's the drip. Let's all be honest, saying anything nah, nah, you can do, it. I can do better. Pulling out that cannon and that sword. And we saw him use that sword previously on Akuma and do great with it. Swapping out that cannon and like, you know, maybe this weapon is kind of nice. And so he's going to work. He's like, I'll dinner. take that. Yeah, yeah, give me I'll, that. Give me, give that. me yeah. that. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. And obviously, like you said, right, rocking the sword. So not too far from home. Just that one weapon change. Go for the recovery, not gonna get the kill they are looking for. Oh my god, cracking oh, he's on his ass! Really but really not gonna get he wanted that. He wanted my boy on a milk carton, bro. He wanted to say, Have you <laughs> seen me on he wanted one kid on a milk carton, dude? Not but one kid up on a t-shirt looking for that boy. <laughs> oh, Nair's Where's gonna take at, him bro? off. Dog up in this game. Three stocks to two stocks and on it on Woodkid's character that he was playing earlier, man, looking good. And he's he's just splicing and dicing, putting him in the air. Play Fruit Ninja with your boy, bro. Yep. I don't know, it's, it's, it's like a Moose Wars story. It's looking good for a dog. Yeah, man, the reverse 3-0 is incoming. And I respect the blasters, but you know, the sword, the, the blasters does have a lot of, um, I'd say dead space to them. So the, oh my god. Ooh. He's not gonna die, but jeez, X marks the spot to hold on to his first, all of his stocks actually. Meanwhile, Woodkid fighting for his life right now. He's trying to get this stock as fast as he possibly can, but just with no luck. 
Yeah, and that was cannon versus cannon. We saw sword versus sword last time. Now we're seeing the cannon versus cannon. And you're right, Blasters does have a lot of that dead space, making it kind of a harder weapon to play compared to sword because you gotta, you kind of gotta work around that. But we know Woodkid oh. putting in that work on that cannon. We know he's comfortable with the cannon. We know he likes that. He don't gotta touch the Blasters, right? He don't gotta touch that. Just yep. use that cannon and put that damage in, which is what he's doing. We're gonna get that exactly. read. And he's oh, right he gets the weapon throw, bro. Oh, oh nah. Barely. Bro, feeling himself. Bro, feeling malicious. Yes, sir. Ooh, Ooh, goes D-Light for the gonna sig. All the way off. Edge guard scenario. Dog just gonna get back to that stage. D-Light recovery's not gonna kill yet. We're gonna put him all the way up in the air, throwing the blasters away. Dog, thirsting for that nair, thirsting for that recovery. My boy, Bracken, look at the comeback your boy has made. Woodkid saying, I ain't out of this just quite yet. Goes for the sig. Not gonna get the kill they're looking for. All right, now it's. Cannon versus cannon, so Ooh, it was looking like Woodkid was out of this. But my boy refuses to lose, refuses to die, gonna ledge cover himself with the gravity cancel. Hey man, I got all the time in the world, bro. He's chilling. He is chilling. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're looking for that D light nair, or that, or maybe catch a dodge, but that D light nair is gonna get that KO. It's so close, and yep. Woodkid's gonna hit that. Opting for the cannon again, you know. Yeah, man, get them, get them blasts out of there, bro. We don't want those. We, don't want we those. do not want those, bro. It's a fine ah. weapon. Oh. Side nice. air is going to even that up. Good side air from Dog punishing that with side air from Woodkid. And Dog's going to opt for that sword. We know he got a sword. And I'm pretty sure Woodkid has a cannon prime. Yeah, but if he can yeah. even get a weapon, Dog oh, doing sure. some good stage yeah, you, control and weapon starving right now. You got, you got to get it first. Okay, there it is. Okay, there's the cannon. All right. Saw this matchup. Plenty of time to route this set right now. So just, just get in his face. Harass him. Don't let him do nothing. Go, okay, there is Dog. One, you know, do what you gotta do, man. You said Oof. this before, but the explosives are mad, the, the cannons are mad explosive. They do a lot of damage, but the swords Oof. are just able to harass your opponent. But you're seeing Woodkid wouldn't work. There's the Sarah. Goes for the weapon throw, but not gonna get anything off of it just quite yet. All right, it's definitely gonna be Dare. Oh, never mind. He throws a weapon away, but opts for the sword. That's a matchup they're just comfortable with. Woodkid's really got to avoid this D-Light. That was a risky gravity cancel. Avoid this D-Light, and more importantly, get a nasty read or a dodge off Dog, because we know how explosive Cannon is. Sider's going to send him all the way off the stage. Ooh, recovery's not going to kill yet, but he's all the way up in the air. Dog applying so much pressure right now. Woodkid cannot get back to the stage. Recovery's going to send nice. him up and out. And now it's 2-1. Dog 1, Woodkid 2. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. History, yo, you know what they say, bro. History you know repeats say. itself, man. Yeah, man. He said, Yo, my Sidra better. Uh oh, a Sidra ditto would get back to what ditto? won him those first two games. The blaster just wasn't it. The, the blasters was just doing him no favors, unfortunately. Oh, hmm. going back to the Aku wait, hold on. What? Okay, back yeah. on the Akuma. Yep. Back. back to the basics, back to the roots. Took out that cannon. May it may have been a little bit of, you know, that's a mental warfare. You know, Brawlhalla in all fighting games is also a mental game. So getting beat on your main, that's, that's going to hurt a little bit. But Dog's going to go yeah. back to the basics on that Akuma. So is Woodkid going to be on back on that Sidra. And we'll see how this one goes out. Back to Miami Dome. These players Three, sure two, love this stage. One, and we'll see what goes on now. So it's a pretty popular one. Like I said before, we, we saw a lot of... We, we, we've seen a lot of stages. Um, and this is definitely going to be one of those, but let's see right now what the movement's going to be looking like. Oh yeah, disrespect. I love, so I love the amount of like dead space that these two are giving each other the little footsie game. Cause they know they're, they're, they're showing mutual respect to each other. I'm um, saying like, okay, I know I can't mess up. Good cross up. Oof. Gonna go for the air duck. Gonna hold himself in place, setting himself up for a good spot right now. Oh, maybe finding the momentum he needed during that last Ooh. game. Goes for the shin short. You can not going to get it though. Dog feeling himself. He's throwing out those gravity cancels, throwing out those sigs, and he has he has a right to do it. You know, he's pressuring, gonna punish that little uh with inlight with the side light. And uh ooh man, dog ooh not ah, Woodkiss fighting back. Hey commentator's curse, gonna miss that <laughs> weapon throw down right there. Oh in light weapon throws just buddy? barely gonna miss. Ooh, oh. Where your sword at? Where your sword at? Okay, gauntlets, uh, you know gauntlets. they say you know the hands mighty than the sword, but uh in this case I don't know. I don't know about that one. Ooh, a little bit oh, of nah. grab, true combo, Nair into GC in light. Got that stage control, gonna whiff that Sair, but still has that stage control, gonna whiff it again. Gonna get rid of the gauntlets completely. Just gonna throw out some of those cannonballs. Woodkid looking for that ground pound, just looking for that first KO so you can get that extra credit damage on your next stock. Who's gonna get it? Ooh, oh my god, sing. what a read off of the... Well, uh, he overextended that with the SIG, but he's actually able to capitalize off that. 
Oh man, and this could be really bad coming on from Woodkid, but gonna make the recovery back just in time. But for the cannon shot, show a mutual tree spectre that I don't want to oh. overextend. Went for the ground pound, not gonna get much off of it. As I say that, he will get the stock. Yeah, that side air is gonna catch that. I believe it was a dodge up on whiff from dog and so that side air is definitely going to catch that and woodkid now has all three stocks while dog just has two oh woodkid so close to the side going to oh side air God. into that weapon throw what a great read from dog man you know how those cannon players love to side air back to stage a weapon throw is always going to catch that and now it's even yeah man he said stop that stop with that bull you got a game to play plus for the sig but not going to get it and now we're seeing your boy woodkid fight but dog going to retaliate Facing all his resources in the air right now, but we are back to center stage. Go for the gravity cancel, go for that recovery. Not gonna get, you know, I I love how no one is just overextending on anything. Mm -hmm. Stay with the sword. That's the match you want to want to be. Want to be sword versus can the, the the gauntlets. You know they have their uses, but this matchup is just a lot more familiar from Dog, and it has it has a win condition if you know what I mean. So, ooh. As I say that, gonna throw it away. Gonna go for the guns because that's he has no choice. Never mind, that's gonna be on the sword. Yeah, prime that sword. And just like you say, kind of a win condition. That matchup, sword in the cannon, really difficult for the cannon players. Ooh, gonna miss that in sig, but Wood Kid's gonna punish it with a side air. Fighting back on the stage with that in light side sig. Dog just looking for something. And we're seeing Wood Kid looking for something too. What is going on? I'll oh, talk about overextending. Now we're just missing. Crown Pound's gonna catch him off. Now they, they, they just swinging. Now they just swinging. They, they, swing. just, they just swinging, bro. <laughs> One of these moves gotta land, bro. One of them got to. Yeah, Woodkid looks like he's landing those. Kind of, ooh, ah! Sizes is barely gonna catch him, and that's gonna give Dog the two up on Woodkid. He's on a he's on a toothpaste fresh stock though. So, ooh, hey, <laughs> one one, even that up real quick. Yeah, he said, that I want that white life. Yep, white life. Gonna make it even. He is gonna get a sword next time he does get his weapon. At, there it is. But Woodkid, all he needs is one more game. He need he wants to move on in this bracket, doesn't want any more games, wants to move on, refresh his mental. But dog, oh, no. if he can win this game, this would be so good for them. Oh, or for the lights, but not gonna get uh, anything off of it. That's fine. Yeah, we're seeing that good stage control from dog, those weapon throwing gauges, but we're also seeing that good defense from dog. What's up? Ooh, What's up? All the way to the top. Dog is so good at getting out of these cannon strings and then just the such good punishes like that instant there. And <laughs> those gauntlets just gonna bonk Woodkin on the head. The Woodkid can't really get anything off Dog. He's just dodging in the at the right times in the right areas. Dog still f like using that get off me tool. Like I said, that in light is so good against Cannon. Forcing Woodkid up into the air. Ooh, not gonna hit that in sig. Now sword v sword. Woodkid's gonna throw that sword away. Ooh, the Bro, recovery. Yeah, he just yeah. got that. Uh, that's two two. Right. two. That's two two. Hey man, the story of this entire thing, bro. Reverse three O's. That's what we do. Yeah. That's what we do here. But now let's see who is able to close this out. It's gonna be two two. Dog versus Woodkid. Woodkid writing the story of his Moose Wars career, finally making top eight. But only thing in his way is the King of the Demon Fist of Kuma. Dog. Let's see how this will play out for Woodkid and this very last game. Let's get it. Yeah, we're back on Apocalypse. I believe we played Apocalypse in game one where Woodkid came out on top. So looks like he, uh, they're trying to go back to their roots and see if they can make something happen just like they did earlier when Woodkid played on Apocalypse. And we're seeing we're seeing that sword and that cannon, those two staples. Oh, God. Ooh, oh gonna God. get a nasty Yo. string on dog. Yo, it ain't never that. Dodge. I know you want to win, bro, but you bro. Bro, let bro play, please. It's a two-player two game. <laughs> okay, but there we go. Ooh, Ooh good like trying to read a jump. Oh, good save, too. Look at fighting for those is. reeds. Ooh, back on those gauntlets. Explosive weapon, but we know Dog likes that sword. Let's see if he can get something uh, started with those gauntlets. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, like that. Goes for the weapon throw. Trying to go for something nice, you know. Maybe it would help him get back on stage, but it ends up catching them just the same. And okay, there's the sword that we, he's so familiar with. That's what they want. Goes for the down air. That could end up Ooh. costing them. Okay, the ground pound not gonna land. Luckily for your boy, gonna go for the recovery. Woodkid on his red life right now. Gonna go deep for the edge guard. Oh no, the recovery oh. can just save the sig, but he's gonna end up living it. This first stock is so crucial, Kraken. Oh my god, they're both whipping each other. Oh my. This is this is so close, and it's been like this for it's been like this so many times. Like, who's that first person to get that stock? That's gonna be dog and 
let's see he's gonna opt for those that sword yep priming that sword we know dog loves that sword good matchup into cannon wood kid's gonna try and fight him off the top uppercutting him in the air but dog's gonna say nah get off me swinging that sword in his face keeping that stage control punishing that sig Ooh, oh and wood kid's Ooh, gonna recovery. get that ko nice yep finally that's what the doctor ordered they are on that yellow hell give me that you, th you thought you thought you had that no i'll take that okay can end up getting a really good uh comeback here we all know that the cannon does a lot of damage and woodkid actually really good with those conversions goes for the sig just not gonna what land the... him okay there's the sair yeah woodkid really just needs one of those cheeky reads he needs to catch one dodge you always see uh woodkid going for a sidelight jump dare and sometimes that's caught dog but he's uh they've never really been able to extend off that so once they catch that dodge from dog who is it ah they'll get a lot of damage throwing out those cannonballs i was looking really good for him they he is on like they're both on orange but yo wood kid about to be on that 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 yellow light turned into a red light real quick gonna put the stops on wood kid gonna make it back on site with the high recovery Oof. Back to center stage. Hey, there it is. Okay, Punish, it's the throw. weapon throw. Got to it again, and that's gonna be the death of Woodkid as they're gonna use all their resources. Final. This is this is tournament stock for Woodkid. If he cannot make this comeback happen, this is gonna be another reverse three oh I video. Mean, like, ooh, this uh, bro, three continues. I don't, uh, bro, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Ayo, Shatter. If press one, if you think Woodkid got it, but press two, if you think. That dog will end up clutching this game, making the reverse 3-0. There's the side air. Okay. Grab a little bit of a sword fight going on between these two combatants. It's going to read the recovery. Good stuff. Trying to go for the air dodge read, but not going to get anything. Sorry, goes for the down air. Kraken, what can dog... No, no, what can what can do to make this comeback happen? Because I don't know, man. You got to get back to stage not first. Good for you. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's number one. Ooh, Ooh that's say, it. Man. And that's another reverse 3-0 in reverse 3-0 wars. <laughs> Dog coming out on top with that Akuma and a little bit of a Sidra going on there, but he is going to end up reversing Woodkid to continue on in the bracket, and Woodkid sadly is going to go home, but we got to see their amazing performance. I believe that's their first top eight in Moose War, so congratulations, Woodkid, and we'll see Dog move on with that Akuma. No, Woodkid, um, as, as a competitor as well, it's always really cool to see talent but not just new talent when you make an achievement like that seeing somebody work super hard to make top eight um in loose wars like people this this bracket has been like upsetville 